What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Leicester, no, it's Manchester United, who are at home, so Manchester United versus Leicester, match preview. Now, a couple of things, the reason this is so late is because I've been editing all my footage for, for FIFA from the early access, and also I'll be mentioning this in a few videos to come, but this channel will be splitting, so all the Manchester United content will be uploaded to another channel, uh, I'll probably just call it Melvin7 Football or something like that, I'll, I'll ask people what the names are but I will be splitting this channel so all the Manchester United content will be coming there and I'll tell you where to go and sub so you don't miss it. But anyway, on to the preview, so of course we've already played Leicester this season under Jose Mourinho, it was his first competitive game, we beat them 2-1 in the Community Shield, I was at Wembley, fucking loved Zlatan's winning header but aside from that we definitely need a win. We've had two back-to-back -back defeats in the Premier League against City and against... Um, I know this, and it's just went out of my mind. How the hell have I forgot it? Watford. <sighs> knew I knew it, but just couldn't get it in. Out, in, out. I, <sighs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but anyhow, their main threats are fairly obvious. Like Jose Mourinho said in his match... Uh, I was going to say match preview. He doesn't do match previews. He does press conferences. What he said in that is exactly what you would expect with Leicester. They are very easy to analyze, but they're not hot, they're not easy to stop. Wow, how many times am I gonna fuck up in this video? They are not easy to stop. That's what I was going for, yeah. So Vardy, Mores, they are their main threats. Of course, they've got their new signing, Slomani, who scored two on his debut, two very good headers. And I don't like that. Like we, we even though we have a very tall team, are so bad defensively and attacking attackingly at uh, set pieces like it's ridiculous so i'm not looking forward to come up coming up against Slomani, especially when you partner him with vardy we're gonna have a handful on our on our a handful on our hands oh my god this is a record for the amount of fuck ups i've had in this video i apologize but anyhow for Manchester United, the only injury concern i think we have is marcial who is out of contention Mourinho confirmed this Mkhitaryan and Shaw are available for selection, but if Mkhitaryan is not fully fit, I don't want to see him start. I don't want another setback like we got at Manchester City. So if he's fully fit, then he has to start because he is probably, when he's on full form, our best player. Certainly one of our best players. If you see him for Borussia Dortmund, he's, he's the glue that stick that team together, stuck it together. I swear, honestly, the, the, moving on, right, yes. We, we need Mkhitaryan if he's fully fit. So the lineup, I'm going on the assumption that Shaw and Mkhitaryan are fully fit because they are available for selection. So in goal, David De Gea, right back, Valencia, two centre backs, Bailly and Smalling. I know Blind could probably be, well, I, I like Blind as a centre back, but personally I would like to see him play CDM in front of those two because B and Smalling I think would be a fantastic partnership if given time. So I do want them to continue but I would like to see Blind just in, in front of them. But at the minute I don't think that's going to happen. So B, Smalling and then Shaw if he is fully fit. Now as a CDM, if we are going in a 4-3-3 it's pretty obvious the midfield three that we all want to see. Fellaini's done terrifically but I, I do think that he just clashes a little bit too much with Pogba, I think they're fairly similar. Fellini has honestly been terrific, so it's hard not naming him in this squad, but Carrick was fantastic. I know it's only Northampton, and Herrera looks as though when Carrick plays, he's got license to go forward, which is exactly what Pogba needs as well. So they are the three, as I'm sure a lot of fans will be crying out for, Carrick, Herrera, and Pogba. And then the forward three, I'll go with Mkhitaryan, Rashford, and Ibrahimovic. No Wayne Rooney in the team, like he was dreadful against Northampton again and Mourinho has came out and said he's got no special privileges and that he can find himself on the bench so it would be nice to see him drop to the bench just because his performances merit it so um, that would be the team I'd go with of course there, there are other players or other formations if we do go 4-2-3-1 then I, w I would probably say Carrick, Pogba and then have um, Mkhitaryan, Rashford, and I'd probably say play Herrera in the number 10, or Mata, and then have Ibra up top, but I'm going on the basis that we're going to go 4-3-3. Now, obviously, I've already went through Leicester's uh, 
well, they're key threats, but they've got many others. They've got uh, Danny Drinkwater, Wes Morgan's a fantastic defender. They've got Peter, I was going to say Peter Schmeichel, Kasper Schmeichel in goal. He's not quite Peter's level yet, but uh, they, they've obviously got a very solid team and they're going to be a very hard team to beat. But I do think we are going to win, like in the Community Shield. I think it's going to be a 2-1 victory, but we really need to eradicate individual errors. That's what's cost us in these games and we need to actually show energy. Pogba's been rested now, Bailly was rested, De Gea was rested, but in particular Bailly and Pogba will be full of energy, raring to go, and it, I really think if we play Carrick or Herrera or both, Pogba will be allowed to drift forward and I think he'll he'll come to life, especially with Mkhitaryan if he starts. They, they could form a great partnership, so I'm confident, let's go for it. So yeah, 2-1. United and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens in the game of course but sorry this is late again and uh, yeah I'll, I'll bring you the channel updates as they happen but hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah